Check, check. Okay, we are live according to this doohickey. We'll see if it actually comes through. Join me in just a second. Do, 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 do. All right, welcome to the stream. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, thank you for joining the stream, being right on time. So today is Tuber Tuesday. So I'll give everyone a few minutes to get into the stream and then I'll launch today's video. So this is kind of the idea I had in my last 14 days of uh, sickness and travel. Uh, hey, nearby, good to see you on the stream. I had 14 really rough days and it helped me to analyze the way the channel's been going and life in general. So, I'm going to be trying to do this. This is the goal. I'm going to try to do a live stream every weekday at 5 p.m. That's the goal. Now, if I can keep up with it, we'll find out. At first, I think these live streams are going to be a little bit haphazard. It means more interaction with you guys. But eventually, I want to make it a little more structured where it'll be able to be like a podcast where you, know, you could listen to it on the way to work, uh, that kind of thing, in case you miss it. And we will have the interaction time towards the end of the show, kind of like a viewer feedback section or a mailbag or something like that. So uh, I'll, I'll let everyone kind of get in the stream before we do dive in too much. Uh, we've got today's video I'll be launching here in a second, making it public, and you guys will be the first to see it. So the idea is each day of the week, each weekday will be a different theme. So Music Monday, I'll be bringing that back. For the first month or two, probably all it's going to be is I'll have my violin here, do what I did last night, uh, and just play, you know, try to play along with some songs that you guys want to hear. I'll be practicing more so that I have more stuff prepared. Um, and then eventually be releasing new songs that I've written or remixed or covered. So we'll kind of get to that point. So the idea is kind of like this live show is almost like a way to premiere whatever my newest video is and it ties into the theme of the day so uh, Monday is music Monday Tuesday is tuber Tuesday what is tuber Tuesday well it's basically anything dealing with video so YouTube twitch web video like Netflix web series um, it, we can highlight creators from all around the world and I'll also be releasing kind of YouTube related types of videos, vlogs and stuff like that that don't fit the typical type of vlog that I normally do, which is our family vlog. Um, and then there's Wednesday and I don't really have a good name for this. So you guys can all think about this. The uh, name that I've got right now is like Words Day or Wordy Wednesday or something like that. I don't know. It's something to do with my writing. It's about writing. Curating and creating good writing. I've got some fiction writing that I've been sitting on for years and I haven't done anything with it. Bharat's Chai Stan, someone had asked about that. That's a short film I wanted to do for a long time, but I never was able to do anything with it just because it's really hard to make a movie. So I've thought about just making it into a short story where you guys can read it. At least it gets out there, right? So that Wednesday will be the day that we kind of celebrate writing. We'll be releasing my first short story tomorrow. Um, it's about me and Satya. So this is kind of the way for me to discuss the work that I'm doing, but also to highlight creators around the world. So yesterday I shared some of the songs that impacted me. Uh, today I'm highlighting a friend of mine and his project. I've mentioned in another video, but I'm going to kind of put the spotlight on him because he's doing an Indiegogo campaign and he's a great filmmaker, an incredible writer. And I'd really like to see what kind of film he can make. So I'll be talking about that a little bit. All right, before we dive into the, the premiere, the world premiere of the video today, the Tuber Tuesday video, we'll go ahead and check out some of the comments. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Already 22 people. Thank you. Uh, yesterday was a little slow getting in the stream. Let me know how the uh, stream looks. I know that the quality is not awesome. Uh, but again, just due to the nature of the internet here in Delhi, I'm kind of having to keep it like that for now. It's just kind of the, it's kind of the, the nature of the beast right now. Hello, everyone. Hello, the improbable one. Hello, Unkit. I'm doing uh, pretty well. 
any chance I could do a holly bolly of Hime Terrace Terrasu Ruler. That's probably the best one to do a holly bolly of, isn't it? I've written a holly bolly if you're a fan. Um, I kind of need to sit on it for a while. I'm scared of Yash Raj. They've like copyright claimed every single video that references any of the, anything that has them in it. So maybe that's a good idea. I don't think Himesh would be too mad. Maybe. Maybe I'd get away with it. Um, so yeah, I met I met Oren a long time ago. We've seen each other at cos, um, cosplays, at Comic Cons a lot. So she's pretty much a regular fixture at Comic Cons cons doing cosplay hosting i mean she did some hosting stuff for some of the booths at different at different comic cons uh here is some white trash i am white trash according to vntzz tv uh thank you rouge Crash. i am a crazy american yeah probably so uh what do i really do for a living this is what i'm trying to do what do you do for a living uh, we have a lot of family and friends that are helping us try to realize this crazy goal of making YouTube videos in another country. So this is what I do. Uh, not for everyone. I do understand that. But I work pretty hard doing it. It's about 70-hour weeks, 80-hour weeks. I don't know. Uh, Daredevil Season 2 came out. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, we're catching up with House of Cards right now, Season 4. Uh, I really think it is really good. Personally, I like it a lot better than season three so far. Wacky Wednesday. VNTZZ TV. That's, that's an idea. I had Wild Card Wednesday. That was kind of an idea for a while. But since it's tied to words, literature, and uh, stories and stuff like that, I think uh, I need something to do with words. I don't know. I'm seeing some lag in the stream. Are you guys seeing lag? What is my take on superhero films in India or the VFX? Will it improve in the future? Uh, well, I don't know. Who did the, the uh, effects in, uh, in Raw 1? Was that outsourced? Because that looked really good. The movie was terrible. But, I mean, the effects were pretty good. And there, are good, there is good effects work in Bahubali for sure. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot of stuff's happening. To me, I was really impressed, honestly, with that uh, South Indian film. I think it's the Telugu film. Aiga or Mucky, and uh, it was as it was done up here, uh, dubbed up here. So that one I thought was re some really good effects work. So I don't know, it's pretty cool. It's a cool time for uh, for effects work in India. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, the improbable one finished Breaking Bad today. Loved my Walter White impression. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I uh, love Breaking Bad. It doesn't get much better than Breaking Bad. Let's see. Yeah, internet is good in Delhi. There's some more options coming down the pipeline, uh, but mine is a little spotty in my neighborhood. The best I can do is Hathaway, and it's it's kind of up and down. I mean, right now I'm I'm dropping frames. I've dropped quite a few frames, uh, according to my little. Doohickey, this is really not good. Um, let me know if it's affecting you guys. It says I have an 8% frame drop rate. Oh, I haven't reconsidered the IPL gig. I'm going to be doing this nonstop, uh, Prashant. I do appreciate you thinking about me because that really is a big deal. Uh, I, would, I would really be interested in doing it in another circumstance, another lifetime. Um, yeah, I love Rehena too from Delhi 6, but I prefer Arzion from Delhi 6. So Arzion wins for me over Rehena 2. Rehena 2 is an incredible song, but almost every song in that film is really good, in my opinion. Um, even the weird one with the, with the Statue of Liberty and, and Old Delhi. I, I actually like that scene. Uh, my favorite sport is uh, watching his League of Legends, <laughs> which is not a live sport, but that's my favorite sport. Um, do I like The Walking Dead? It's not really my thing. I don't know. I just never really uh, gotten into it. I do understand the craze behind it. It seems like it's really well written. Really good from what I've seen. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that Aga was made by the same guy who did Bahubali. That's pretty cool. Can I just say you look fit as ever? Well, I have uh, lo I've lost a lot of weight through sickness. And uh, 
Uh, I'm about to get back to working out now. Red Chilies and Raw 1. So yeah, that was really good. I thought Raw 1 did a good job with their effects, man. Like I I just wish there was a movie around that effects. Um, are, are you guys having a bad lag here? Uh, man, it's it's freezing for me. Are you guys getting frozen? Um, yeah, I think that that low quality look is just the stream speed at which I'm having to do this. Um, do I think do I think you can start short films on your mobile camera and some editing? Yes, start with what you have, man. Uh, Mystery Guitar Man, he's one of the biggest YouTubers, really. He got started out on this piece of crap handy cam, and he had to put every light on in the room in order to, uh, because the low light on this cameras back then was really bad. So he had to put, turn on all these lights, and that's why he wore the sunglasses was so that he wouldn't be squinting the whole time. Uh, so yeah. And it worked, and he's famous now. So, yeah, you just need a unique voice. That's what you need. It all comes down to the, the writing, and it comes down to your character and your personality. It is YouTube, after all. It is not good production tube. Um, Geralt of Rivia, yeah, I know. I haven't done gaming in a long time. I do want to resurrect Dad and Daughter Gaming, but right now I'm trying to really grow the channel. And, uh, you know, as like, as people pointed out, like, how long can you keep doing this? Well, I mean, we need to be able to make a full living and quit just borrowing money from uh, generous people who are helping the channel stay afloat. At, at this point, we need to uh, be able to really make bank to be able to stay here for the long term, uh, to be able to pay taxes to everyone who needs their tax money, be able to get a visa to come back. All these things are important if we're going to keep doing this. And we want to keep doing it. We think it's uh, worth it. We believe in this creative cross-cultural and constructive content. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I think it's a unique channel. It's been all over the place, but uh, I think we do have a unique channel. All right, guys, I'm seeing a lot of lag. I may try to restart this stream and then try again. I really don't know what is going on. I apologize for the problem. Um, I am going to, I'm going to take a brief pause and try to fix one setting and see if it helps. All right, give me one second. Okay, okay, are we back, are we back, are we back? All right, uh, my frame rate is just, it's terrible. It's just dropping frames like crazy, and I don't know what the deal is. This was not a problem yesterday, um, and there was no set changed. So I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. There's just, it just looks like that's going to be the nature of the stream today. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just roll the video. <clears throat> There's a delay of 10 seconds. Okay, let's let, let's let the stream catch up. See if the stream will catch up. All right, let me know. Let me know in the comments what's going on for you on the stream side. I don't know. This is De Delhi Internet, folks. I don't have anything else running on this uh, on this connection. Nothing. And this is a 50 Mbps connection, supposedly. But upstream, you know, I'm losing one third of the FPS right now. All right. What I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to drop the FPS uh, 10 frames a second and see if that'll help. All right, one more, one more uh, setting change and see if that'll help it. <clears throat> Apologies, blame Hathaway.
All right, maybe. All right, we're we're back in. I'm trying it at 20 FPS. Trying at 20 FPS, no drop frames yet. Yay, let's cross our fingers. Okay, so we are back, and it's dropping again. Holy crap, what is going on, man? This is just inexcusable. So frustrating. Okay, um, uh, my internet uh, that definitely eats into our company budget for sure. We have to have two connections because I upload so many vi uh, videos. Okay, let me know one more time in the comments. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Let me know one more time in the comments and then we'll roll today's video. The first uh, video I'm going to show you today. Okay, so everyone says it's looking pretty good. All right, thank you everyone for joining the stream. We've got about 39 people watching. I'll go ahead and roll today's video, which is, I will talk about YouTube Fan Fest in just a little bit after this video. So today I did a video about dealing with YouTube comments. And this, so this is a video for YouTubers out there. If any of you are looking to start your own YouTube channel, you're gonna deal with commenters. And a lot of times you're gonna be tempted to assume the worst about those commenters. And a lot of you, I haven't even had the greatest interactions with over time because I've misunderstood what you were trying to say and I was kind of a jerk. So this is to help you avoid the problems that I've created by just giving people the benefit of the doubt. So this video is called YouTube Comments, Advice for YouTubers. I'm going to open up in this other window over here one second and we will roll it but um bum but up bum but up bum but up bum but um bum but um boom but um but um and it's disappeared there it is and that's the wrong, <laughs> and that's the wrong one. And that's the wrong one. Come on, there it is, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, you get to see it small size. Are you ready? Are you ready? Reality every YouTuber faces. All right, I gotta. Turn the volume on, that'd be good. If you're a YouTuber, you're gonna to have to deal with the reality every YouTuber faces, comments. But as frustrating as a YouTube comment section can be, that's why we're here, to share. None of us gets any better at what we do without feedback. In the entertainment industry, you get feedback too in the form of notes from studio heads, and producers, and investors. And even when you make it, word on the street is, there's some legendarily bad advice that even the pros give and get some unintentionally hilarious examples of the worst of the worst types of feedback in notes form are illustrated very well by the twitter account at tv network notes here are a few examples listen kid real people don't interrupt each other no one talks like that the script is here but it needs to be here regarding the walking dead pilot this is awesome i really love it does it have to have zombies in it? But not all notes are bad. In fact, even in some... Wait a minute. It just said that I stopped streaming on my screen. Is it saying that on yours? Uh, the worst notes... I'm sorry, guys. I really don't know what's going on. Like, I didn't stop streaming and... Yeah, oh, Joe, 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 Joe. Shoot. Is it still stuck for everyone else? I mean, mine's going like now at five frames a second. Man, I don't know. 
This is why I came over to YouTube from Twitch because I couldn't get Twitch to work. Now YouTube at its lowest setting won't even work. Uh, I'm going to have to do a lot more tests this week and see what I can come up with. Uh, I, I've never had this problem with YouTube. It's, it's not even able to keep 700 KB a second, you guys. I have it set on every lowest setting. All right, is it back again? Okay, here we go. We'll keep it going that you can possibly imagine, you can usually find some hint of something that can be fixed in the script or in the final edit to smooth out rough in character or plot or pacing. And the same can be said with YouTube comments. We get so used to getting bad feedback that it's often tempting to dismiss all criticism even criticism of the constructive variety. I'm gonna take a look today and share with you today a time when I did not take some constructive criticism well at all. I should have handled the entire situation better. <clears throat> so here's a reenactment. I don't, I'm not sure why I default to this particular accent when I'm doing the producer voice, but that's what's in my head, so that's what I'm doing. The serving violinist of late, the India Adventures part is missing. Just saying. I, I don't know what was coming over me on this particular day, but <clears throat> here was my response. It's a regular family vlog. Adventures require production and budget. We do one a month. It's called American Indian. I talk about it pretty regularly. If you don't like family stuff, then don't watch the family vlog. Pretty simple concept, just saying. I never said it. it's bad that the adventure part is missing. Just wanted to let you know that you're getting off track lately. I'm not off the track. This is our channel. Take it or leave it. I'm not course correcting. If it's not adventurous enough, there are plenty of fly-by-night travel channels that are exciting and take a superficial concern in cross-culture communication. You're welcome to follow them. I said it in good faith, but if you want to bask in the glory of your little stardom, it's up to you. I'm not a public figure, so stop suggesting to me and advising me on what I should and should not watch. But you are, so you better prepare yourself for criticisms before it's too late. In short, Prashant was right, and I ended up changing the channel name. So I apologize to Prashant here, I was out of line. The reason these kinds of things happen is because we do get touchy as creators after getting a lot of negative feedback and dealing with trolls and angry commenters. But again, the only way to improve is to get feedback from a variety of sources and to take that feedback seriously and give it the benefit of the doubt. And to realize that a lot of people really are on your side and they're just trying to help. Just remember, it ain't all bad news just because it is critical. There is constructive criticism and there are good notes. You just need to be patient enough to hear them out to separate the good from the bad so you can be a better creator. What are some of the best examples of constructive feedback you've seen in the comment section on YouTube? Because even the comment section on YouTube can be a constructive place and I have learned a lot from it. Do let us know and if you're a creator, keep it creative, keep it cross-cultural if that's your thing on your channel. And keep an eye out for these constructive criticisms because they really will help you grow as a creator. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching The Serving Violinist. Right. Check out web series American Indian, the more so there you go, there was that, there was that, there was that. I just put that video live. Sorry again for the uh, lag issues there. I'll try to close out that window and see if that helps at all. I'm just not sure what is going on. It's weird, man. Weird, dude, weird. Uh, you know, it keeps telling me the health is good on the stream, but then it just goes to crap so fast. All right. Um, yeah, I've heard of William, William Dalrymple. I haven't read actually one of his books yet. So Melissa has been the William Dalrymple reader. Uh, we have a couple of his books, but I, I need to catch up a lot of them. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to block anyone. Eventually, I'll make some moderators, you know, once time gets on. Uh, but yeah, for today or for this week, probably not no moderators so i guess we'll just we'll just deal with it we'll deal with it all right well thank thank you for the compliments on the video uh do share the video especially if you know a streamer or a uh, i mean sorry youtuber who could benefit from it it is uh 
it is, you know, kind of like it makes you feel kind of naked when you put your work out there for everyone to see. And uh, the truth is people can be really blunt, but they can also be blunt in a good way and tell you stuff that friends would never tell you, you know. So like your mom or your dad might not or, you know, a good friend might not feel you know, unless they unless they're really thinking about your future, they might not want to hurt your feelings. And I said, oh, well, yeah, that was a really good video. You know, that was fine. That was all right. That was that was OK. But they won't really dive in and say what needs to be said. Sometimes our videos just suck and they need to be improved upon. And there's always something that can be improved upon. So you do want some good feedback. You want honest feedback. And that can be tough to hear sometimes. So hope you enjoyed that video and hope you can benefit from it. I haven't stopped doing trailer reactions. It's just been uh, a rough 10, 15 days of being sick. Um, I wanted to do one today, but I got a little bit behind doing that vlog. And just this week is gonna be a little bit rougher than I thought getting everything back in order. I'm still recovering from the sickness. Um, and I this thing just said it stopped. All right, let me, let me try to change some settings here. Hold on a second. I'll try to change a backup server in this setting. This doesn't look like it's helping either. I changed the server setting and it's uh, dropping 50% of the frames. 40%. Okay, we're coming down 30. 30 down to down to 20. Is it going to be better? No, no, maybe. Maybe. Happy holy. What day is holy? Is it Thursday? Let me know. Let me know what the stream is looking like now. Again, apologies for this heinous. Yeah, it looks like it's still a 20% frame drop rate. It was really frustrating. Uh, I'm not sure. What are these? These are Logitechs, I think. Yeah, these are Logitech headphones. Uh, not the greatest ever. I'm doing the Jugar. I'm trying different settings, and it's just not working. Yeah, these are... Uh, doesn't say it doesn't say the name on it I don't know but that I got them for the mic which ended up breaking like I don't know pretty quickly in have a safe and happy holy everyone yes yes okay so I'm sorry for this uh, Jugar stream today it's just it's just not working well at all frustrating yeah uh, do keep your thoughts and prayers for Brussels. Uh, I only saw it in passing. I didn't. I didn't really hear everything that went down with that. So I hope it'll be okay. Uh, people can recover. Uh, yeah, <laughs> reaction videos are lame. I think in general, <laughs> personally, uh, but they get views. I mean, it's marketing for the channel. You know, I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't fault it. Too much. I have seen some movies from Satyajit Ray. I am a fan of what I've seen. I really like Shatranj K. Kilari. Um, I am a fan of Pater Panchali. Uh, I still need to see the rest of the Apu trilogy. So I got to catch up with a lot of uh, Satyajit Ray work. Um, can I try a British accent? Yes, I can try a British accent. I would like to bring back a, a character that I used to do for a while named Jeffrey the Troll. Speaking of Jeffrey the Troll, that brings up today's topic, which is a friend of mine named Josh Crute, who's done some film work. He went to FSU Film School, and uh, at FSU Film School, he did some pretty amazing work. He graduated from FSU Film School with a thesis film that was quite amazing and went on to L.A. to pursue his dreams of filmmaking and writing for film. 
He's actually working on a short film now, which is the topic of today's video. It's called Asteria. So he has an Indiegogo campaign. I'm going to roll that, provided the uh, stream will let me. Let's take a look at that. I'll put the link in the description. Last time I tried putting links in the description and it messed up the links for some reason. So let me make sure that it doesn't screw them up right now. Hold on one second. And yeah, it just did. It just did. This is so weird. If you try to change the links manually right here, it automatically screws them up. So I actually can't put this link right here. I'll put it in the uh, comments. So this video right here that I linked in the comments is actually this uh, Indiegogo campaign. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this video. Let me make sure that the window is gonna work. Uh, okay. I'll just leave it, please. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Distracted. Let me reset this. There it is. There it is. All right. I had mentioned this in a previous uh, q and A. I'm going to go ahead and show the full video here, though. So this is Asteria. It is a sci-fi short film that my friend Josh Crude is doing. We've done a lot of writing together. We used to have a YouTube channel together way back in the day. And uh, he's a fantastic filmmaker. So here it is. Check it out. My name is Josh. I'm an independent filmmaker based right here in Los Angeles. And I'm here to tell you about a science fiction short film project that you can be a part of. Roll that montage. It's Gustav Holst. Okay, so first a little bit about me. Um, I moved out here about a year and a half ago after getting my Master of Fine Arts from the Florida State Film School. I've written and directed comedies, adaptations, kids adventure movies, film noirs, but this is my first step into science fiction. Asteria is a live action science fiction short film about an artist who's been commissioned by Earth to fly across the seven galaxies in a spaceship and paint the wonders of the universe. So she paints the eye of Jupiter, she paints the rings of Saturn, the seas of Neptune, the Andromeda galaxy. Unfortunately, she gets so wrapped up in her work that she never comes home. Until one day, when she's painting a sunrise over Saturn, she comes across a stranded astronaut. She has to bring him back to Earth and it forces her to come to terms with what she left behind. So, how are we going to make it? Uh, this is a live action movie, so imagine the tone being somewhat like a Pixar short except live action. It's a sci-fi movie, but it's going to be a little different than a lot of the science fiction films that are typically made today. It's, I would call it a lyrical sci-fi film, so if you like Fantasia, if you like 2001, if you like The Little Prince, uh, if you like Ray Bradbury, I think you're really going to like this. Also throughout the movie we're going to be getting glimpses into the painter's head. The way we're going to do that is out the window, you're going to see the spacescape and then it's going to transform into the painting that she's about to paint as she closes her eyes. All of the spaceship interiors we're going to be building on a soundstage. There's going to be a studio, a gallery, a cockpit, and an airlock. For the exteriors, we're actually going to be building a spaceship model and we're going to be shooting it with a motion control device just like they did for the original Star Wars movies. So pretty exciting. Okay, so how do you get involved? I need $10,000 to make the movie. I've already saved up $5,000 on my own, so I need help getting the rest of it so we can hire actors, we can build the sets, we can commission the artwork, etc. Our plan is to shoot in mid-April. We already have locations picked out, we've already got some of the sets designed, some of the cast chosen. So all we're waiting for is the final funding to get going. We've got some out of this world rewards right over here, see what I did there? Including uh, copies of the movie, prints of the artwork, all kinds of goodies. 
So check that out. So thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, really hope that you'll become part of the project. Now, excuse me, I'm gonna go watch this, look at Saturn's rings. <laughs> Right. That's so. Uh, that's my boy Josh Kroot. So check out his Indiegogo. I've linked it in the comments because if I try to change it right now in the live stream uh, show notes, it's gonna like screw up. So I put it right there. Uh, so do check that out. Linked right there. Indiegogo. If you would like to throw some support that way. Someone asked a question. Here's just a real quick aside. Someone asked a question about proper bow hold. Um, it, it's it's lo roughly like this, okay? Roughly like this. What you, you want this pinky just to kind of rest there. You don't want this pinky to get stiff or to be what really uh, makes all the pressure, right? You just kind of want that pinky to lie there. You want these two fingers to, um, eh, eh. Come on, man. Oh, geez, I'm looking at the wrong camera, sorry. Uh, hold on a second. Let me get that window out of the way. Duh. All right. So, yeah, you want um, this to rest about right here. And the, the two middle fingers, they kind of straddle where your thumb is going to be. And the most important thing, the most important thing I can say in terms of Western bow hold is you've got to keep that thumb bent. If you put your thumb in through like there, or if you hold it like this, like it's just you're going to have a really clunky bow hold it's really hard it just takes a lot of time it, honestly if you just spend time just doing this with your hand it does it's actually better practice than like 90 percent of actual practice that we tend to want to do on violin it's just sitting here and doing this over and over and over and over keeping that thumb bent thanks crime master gogo for coming by thank you so much Appreciate it. Even though you have exams, you need to get to your exams, sir. Yeah, get to your exams. How do you expect to eat your pudding if you don't eat your meat? How do you expect to see your surfing violinist if you don't eat your exams? So, do check out my friend Josh Kruitz's Asteria and his Indiegogo campaign. It is a global doohickey, I think, so anybody should be able to support it. I think it's not just PayPal related. I'm not exactly sure what all the payment options are, but any amount that you could throw his way, that would be awesome. Um, they have, how much more time do they have? They've got $3,825 of 5,000, and they've got a week left. So if you're into sci-fi, do check that out. Uh, yeah, he's a great uh, creator, great writer. Uh, what do I think of a every frame of painting? Yeah, every frame of painting, the ones that I've seen are really good. Uh, I think he's my favorite commenter on filmmaking process. Uh, I definitely like what he said about Snowpiercer, which is a film I really, really loved. Hello, Dan Loco. Thank you for coming. Uh, Confused Mind keeps asking, what are your children's real names? They're, these are my children's real names legally in America and India. Rohan Viru and... Satya Kirtana. Uh, I, we didn't really know what we were getting into. When, when we named Satya, we picked the name out of a book because we liked truth, um, but we didn't, we didn't really know that it tends to be, I guess, a guy's name more of the time over here. We didn't know that because we saw A and in Amer like as, a, as the ending letter, and A tends to be more of a feminine like ending in English or like that's, that's the way I would think but not always the case either so uh, but I've heard it can be either so uh, but we uh, we liked that name and so we named her Satya that was way before we ever moved to India actually Dead Reckoning by Clint Mansell I want to say that somebody has you might have it might have been you that requested that a long time ago I have not done it I am not from Boston I'm from Panama City Florida Uh, t 10,000, uh, oh, because the one that I want to make, Crime Master Gogo, is, is a bigger budget film. It's a bigger budget undertaking. It does, it's not a two people in one, uh, set. It's, it's probably, as I said, you'd probably need 20 or 30 people. So, 
that's just in shot for cameras. Yeah, no, it's it's a lot of money. But films take a lot of money, man. I don't know what I, I I I don't know what people expect from movement. But think about okay, just think about it this way: a thirty-second commercial in America that is broadcast nationally ranges from a hundred thousand U.S. dollars to three hundred thousand U.S. dollars. Okay, that's a normal budget. Uh, regular 45 minute TV shows range from 100,000 US dollars to 200 to 250,000 US dollars. This is just what production costs in the real world. Um, and you know, the YouTube, I mean the, uh, uh, I, I don't know how much they cost to make the soaps, the dailies here in India. But I guarantee it's more expensive than, than we would think it would be. Uh, don't they go to school? Yeah. Why do you ask? They go to school. I mean, well, Rohan doesn't. I mean, Sati goes to school. Uh, it's her week off right now, but yeah, it is 541. Uh, I'm not going to do YouTube pranks. No, that's not my thing. Is it safe to publish pure original content on YouTube? Um, y yeah. Is it safe to publish pure original content on YouTube? Pure original content? What, what, is, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, some vid, that's what I was talking about with Crime Master Gogo right there. Uh, the reason I never have done anything with Bart's Chai Stan is it's just too expensive a project to try to make into a film. It require I mean, the cast requires about 10 main actors and then 20 to 30 extras that are involved in a fight scene. So it's just, it's just a big undertaking, and uh, I would need funding to make something like that. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'll I'll try to think of something else to make, but whatever. I'm just done trying to herd cats. I've been trying to do that for ten years, and no, I, I guess I'm just not a good director because I can't get people to come around. I'm gonna focus on my writing. That to me is more important. Um, uh, the YouTube Fan Fest. Oh yeah, there's, so there's some questions about YouTube Fan Fest. Purva asked. Uh, yeah, YouTube Fan Fest was interesting. I didn't get invited this year. I, I really don't know what happened, what what went on, but uh, a beneficial, kind, caring person donated. Um, a uh, this thing is still man. It says that my stream status is terrible right now. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Hold on one second. I'm going to try to make sure that nothing else is eating upstream bandwidth. It's still, it's still, it's still doing it. Okay, it's back up now. Uh, I don't have anything else open. I just don't understand what is going on. We're getting no, s it says that I'm getting no data. Uh, check, check, our... Uh, is anyone seeing anything? I can't tell if it's even if it's even working right now. Okay, it's back. I think it's back. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so YouTube Fan Fest. Yeah, when I went last year, I had I don't know a half or a third of the subscribers I have now. Uh, so, anyways, a viewer provided a plane ticket for me to come down. I wasn't even gonna come down. Uh, they so I was able to come down because of a viewer because someone who really supports the channel and has been uh, very generous to the channel. I wasn't gonna be able to, the company wasn't gonna be able to afford it, I wasn't gonna be able to afford it. So flew me down, 
I ended up getting extremely sick in Varanasi, as some of you know from last week's. I, it's still, is it still stuck? Hello, check, 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 check. All right, I'm going to try to do another change here. We'll see if it fixes it. All right, give me a second, give me a second. Trying it, trying again, trying again. All right, guys, let me know. Let me know if it's coming through. All right, it seems to be coming through now. Okay. All right, uh, apologies for that. Okay, so let me try to answer this for the third time. So, yeah, I wasn't, uh, wasn't invited got invited by a viewer I made it down there and uh, I was super sick as some of you know from the Varanasi trip and then uh, yeah I was I went to fan fest they had reserved so someone at Google had reserved me tickets but I needed something more so I could get in and actually film some of this you know goings on you know film some of the people behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff so I did ask somebody they said point blank uh, they were they just didn't have the power they said point blank it doesn't matter you have to be press in order to get a press pass like traditional press and I was like well I'm a youtuber I <laughs> I was here last year I was on stage I made a vlog that got you know 10,000 views like I I have 40,000 subscribers almost. Like, that's not considered press? And he's like, no. Even at YouTube Fan Fest, it's not considered press? I'm not some form of a media outlet, even though I'm just, I'm, I'm a YouTube channel. This is celebrating YouTube, right? So I got a flat no from them. And uh, then I ran into Trouble Seeker Team, who had an extra guest pass. And so I got Trouble Seeker Team's guest pass and was able to do some filming. So that uh, was about it. But I was just feeling so sick that I really had a hard time. I just was not really enjoying myself. I did get to see Rahul, a viewer. Um, unfortunately, I didn't recognize him when I saw him. I did get to you know, say hey. But um, I really wish I'd have sat down and talked with him. Um, so that was kind of a blown opportunity. Uh, I was just feeling so bad the entire time. I didn't make it through the whole show i think the best part of the show of youtube fan fest was nuclea nuclea did a, uh the opening basically so they did he's an edm electronics dude and uh, electronic musician and did some pretty good dj remix kind of thing and then this dude came out rapped to him and then all of a sudden a guy comes out he was rapping in hindi this other guy all of a sudden a guy comes out rapping in english and I'm like, wow, this guy actually has a pretty good flow. And it was Abish Matthew who is, was the host. Uh, it was single, single handedly, it was singly the best thing that I've seen in YouTube Fan Fest personally. Uh, probably the best thing that's happened in YouTube Fan Fest history in India, at least, was when SRK crashed the stage at the, the TVF set, the first YouTube Fan Fest. And uh, Biswapati Sarkar was like, didn't even bat an eye. He just stayed in character as Arnold Goswami the entire time. Just like, this is my show. This is my show. That's hands down the best YouTube fan fest moment ever. Oh, well, power just went out. <laughs> we might have like three seconds left on the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll see. Power just went out. It's just the day of problems. But... Uh, behind that, the next best thing. Let me turn off the fan. Hold on one second. So, 
So behind that, the next best thing was what Abish Matthew did, how he introed YouTube Fan Fest. It was, it was a killer coming out on stage. He did a really good job. Um, other than that, uh, the, the show, it's just, it's just not my cup of tea. It just, it, it really isn't. Like, I, I think what made the first YouTube Fan Fest so good was there's collaborate, there were many collaborations between the different creators. Lily, you, uh, Superwoman, she did collaborations with TVF, she did collaboration with AIB, and those were two really funny videos. They were really awesome. And since then, like, the collaborations just haven't been the same. Like, I mean, I feel like this is the whole point of YouTube is YouTubers make YouTube videos. They're not necessarily the greatest live show people unless they have a video to show. And so when you collab together and make a video that premieres at YouTube Fan Fest, I think that's what makes it the best. And I really feel like there could be more of that. So maybe they just don't have me because, uh, you know, they think I suck on stage or whatever. Um, and yeah, maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe I do suck on stage. Sorry about the volume. Um, but yeah, it wasn't just, it just wasn't my thing. I think the power's back. Okay. I can't really tell. Uh, when will YouTube Fan Fest come to Delhi? I don't know. That's a good question. I would say that, uh, never probably, uh, was BB Key Vines in Fan Fest? I think. I think he was supposed to be there, but I got sick. I had to go, I had to go to the bathroom a few times, and so I didn't get to film all of it. I don't I don't remember him being on stage. Um, but he's doing a great job as a YouTuber. Like that is a YouTube channel. I, part of the part of the frustration I have right now with what's going on on YouTube India in particular is that uh, a lot of not really YouTubey channels are getting the most attention. Um, you you know. We now it's starting to change. I mean, Rickshaw Wally is a vlogger. Uh, you've got this uh, Prajakta who's a vlogger, but it's just it's so much uh, industry sort of thing that's kind of taking over, and you've got these things that again have these giant budgets and stuff like that, which is just not that's not what YouTube is at its core. It's it's a person with a camera, you know, with with a tiny piece of crap camera, and that that's how these giant channels started out. PewDiePie does not did never had a budget. You know, uh, Ryan Higa never had a budget. The Vlog Brothers never had a budget. Uh, Mystery Guitar Man never had a budget. Sexy Phil never had a budget. These are YouTubers from all around the world. Uh, Freddie Wong, there's a perfect example. That was a dude that from his bootstraps made his company and it, it was in a special effects videos. Uh, Corridor Digital, that's a comp uh, another YouTube channel that they just use the tools that they had on hand to make things. And I just see a lot of like outside investment money coming into a lot of these YouTube endeavors. And it's just, it's something else. It's a network, you know, it's a, it's a big production thing. And YouTube is about small. Um, the improbable one said, pure original content as I mean something like a new idea for a story that someone else can use and make it again. I'm afraid of low budget. Yeah, I'm still. I'm not really understanding what you're asking. I'm sorry. I have watched The Fall. The Fall is one of my favorite movies. The Man from Earth I haven't seen, but The Man from Earth stars my cousin, uh, David Lee Smith. That's my cousin. He is the Man from Earth. Um, so BB Key Vines wasn't there. Okay. Yeah, I think that guy, that guy's a good example of a YouTuber right there, even though, I mean, he's kind of got his start on Vine. But that is a great, he's creating his own characters. He's doing his own comedy. I think that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, yes, Holly Bolly will come back. I'm going to be doing it in Hindi. So that's the goal is to do it in Hindi. No, that's what I mean. Rickshaw Wally does not have a budget. And that's, that's a good example of a YouTuber. I mean, you're like truly a YouTuber. Uh, Vitali, which one's Vitali? I don't really know which one Vitali is. And some of these other new ones that are coming out, I mean, they're doing lower budget kind of stuff, you know, sketch comedy and stuff like that. I really like Random Chicky Boom. They did part, they were in the uh, comedy hunt. I think they've had some really funny videos. The uh, Jingalala, what is that? Um, what is the name of the satellite company? Um, T. Jeez, I have them. What is the name of the Tata Sky? Tata Sky. Thank you for calling Tata Sky. 
So they did an incredible sketch, uh, really funny stuff. I don't watch cr cricket, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm in agreement. I just I feel like it's all it's all T series, it's all Sony music, it's all uh, Yash Raj, and Yash Raj. I mean, they are just they're licensed Raj. Okay, like that's what they should be calling themselves. They should be calling themselves copyright troll Raj. That's what they are. I mean, I, I'll be surprised if they don't like ban this video for me being able to say that they do not believe in freedom of speech, in spite of the fact that thirty percent of their stories and their film ideas have come from elsewhere, plagiarized without permission, and then they turn around. And I mean, even if you comment on their on their film, like even if you're giving them a favorable review, they will take the money from that, and that's ludicrous. I mean, that's not freedom of speech. Like you should, I mean, that's part of a, any free society is the ability to comment on something. Um, and yeah, Yash Raj is just out of control. Um, and, and Google is not doing anything like to defend uh, individual creators against them. And that's one of the reasons why Holly Bolly kind of died is because uh, they're just, they're taking everything like uh, those, those kind of things. Uh, it has been a long time since I've done dub smash. My cousin is Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, have I planned anything different or new content this year? So, yes, I want to do some uh, violin-related content that's going to be new, some remixing using this new equipment I got. So, yeah, I definitely want to get going on that. All right, we've got about three minutes left in this stream. Yes, Music Monday will be back. I've just got to, I got to get practicing again and not be so terrible at violin and everything. So, uh, man, sorry about the quality of the stream. It seems to have stabilized here towards the end. I uh, will try to do a couple tests tomorrow and make sure that it's going to be okay tomorrow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's in the movie. I have still never seen the movie, guys. This is, it's, it's, it's a sin. It's a San Pop Merahe. How would you say that? Because, I mean, he's my cousin. I still haven't seen that movie. It's, it's ludicrous. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's the question the improbable one's been trying to ask. If I make a short film in my budget with original story, but what if someone uses my story with a big budget? How can I make it safe? Okay, I got you. I understand what you're saying. Sorry for not picking it up. Uh, that's welcome to the real world. Like, here's the thing. Ideas are cheap. Anybody can come up with an idea. And honestly, like, it's just better to get it out there. If you put it up there and people realize, oh, hey, that was copied from so-and-so. Um, I mean, that, makes, that creates a name for you. That's marketing for you. Like, I just put everything out there. Put everything out there. Let people steal it. Like, here's the thing. Copyright is a waste of time. It's, it's a waste of time. It's strangling creativity all around the world. In the entertainment industry, I believe this. I honestly do. And that's why I don't copyright anything that I make. Like, you're free to use anything that I make. You're free to make money off of it. If you can make, find ways to make money off of it, maybe you can tell me how to make money off of it because I'm still not making money off of it. Uh, enough to keep us afloat without some help, as people are always pointing out. So, uh, yeah, just get your work out there. And here's the thing. People, people tend to think that if you get into this industry, like you're, you've made it. But a lot of what ends up happening is people write a script and it ends up just sitting on a shelf somewhere and nobody bets on it. I mean, y'all are talking about Bart's Ch Chai saying, why don't I make it? Well, I mean, you have to have people to make a film, right? There are times that a good script will be, will be optioned or purchased and it just sits on a, on a shelf because that studio is afraid of someone else getting it and making it, making money off of it and making them look bad. So they'll bid low, buy the script for $50,000 or something like that and just set it on a shelf and they just bury it. That happens all the time, all the time. So much, I mean, 98% of creative output in the last 100 years have just ended up in a waste bin. Okay, like because people are scared of it being made. Like they're scared to make it. They don't want to see anyone else make it. And so it just ends up going in the trash can. So to me, that's just ludicrous. That's just a lot of wasted uh, creativity. 
And then if we just opened it up, if we just actually put it all out there, then you could learn something from someone else and take that remix. I mean, that's what remix culture is all about, right? In terms of the music world. I mean, that's what hip hop did for the music world to say, I don't care that you have a copyright. I'm taking that backbeat and I'm putting rhyming on top of it. Eat it. What are you going to do? And that's what happened. I mean, nobody could do anything because they didn't have the mechanisms in place to really go after them. Uh, and courts were like, what? I mean, that one little part, you're mad about that, those, you know, those eight snare b hits, like being stolen from your stupid record that nobody listens to anymore. So that's how hip hop culture began. Um, I'd really like to see a similar thing happen in uh, the rest of the entertainment world. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's, it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting fight in the next ten years between copyright left and copyright. I'm full copy left. I am I am anti intellectual property. I think it's a joke. I am pro property laws. I am pro property. I am a capitalist, but I don't. I believe that way that we have taken property rights and applied it to intellectual property is absolutely insane. And all it does is protect vested interests. It's not capitalism. It's crony capitalism. It's corruption. Uh, it's license Raj. It's evil. It just benefits. And it's an oligarchy. It's, it's the way like the British society ran 200 years ago. Anybody outside of my little, you have to stay in your designated place. And if you step outside of your place, you have to pay your feudal taxes to the feudal lord. You know, it's just, it's ludicrous way of doing business. It's a ludicrous way of living. And it, it's, it stif uh, stifles free speech. It stifles expression. It stifles uh, ingenuity. And it stifles innovation. So I am anti-intellectual property rules. Now, when it comes to different industries, it's a different story. But I think in the tech world, there are some similar problems. Uh, that's why I'm a big fan of open source software. Um, I, I think uh, that's why one of the great things about India, right, when it comes to pharmaceuticals, if it wouldn't be for you guys, if it wouldn't be for India, I mean, one-fifth of the part world's population would just die tomorrow. Seriously, because of U.S. pharmaceutical companies being evil just being evil patent trolls. They would just they would just let people die. You know, that one douchebag that was just like, I'm gonna charge $10,000 for you know, a piece of AIDS medication or whatever that a-hole uh, douchebag, you know, that everyone's making fun of right now. Um, like, those, they're patent trolls and they're willing to see people die. They're willing to stifle innovation and say, this is our property right here. <laughs> And we're going to willing to see people die for it. That's not capitalism. That's cronyism. That's oligarchy. That's evil. So screw that. I'm all for copy left. Anyway, okay, so that was my big rant. It, it has to happen once in a while. It has to happen once in a while that I have this, I have a crazy long rant. All right. So there's my rant. All right, let me answer a few questions and we're over time. So let's see what app, what did I miss in my long, ridiculous rant there? The dark room looks good. Uh, um, but yeah, get your ideas out there. I would say that to the P, the improbable one. Get your ideas out there. Just make it, make it, yo. Do it. You have started doing reaction views. Uh, top 10 videos. I, yeah, I probably will start doing some top 10 videos. You're probably right. Um, answer me like how to start San YouTube channel. What, what are you asking about nearby for it? I'd say welcome to India's. <laughs> are the audio and video still out of sync? When is the next live stream? The next live stream is tomorrow provided it's not going to be terrible like this. I'm sorry about the, all the hiccups. Uh, the live stream 5 p.m. We're going to try it again. We're just going to keep trying. Um, let's see. Some other questions here. Something about Donald Trump. Hey, Ford, Ford visit South India. I want to do a surf trip to uh, Karnataka. What are my views on Mr. Trump? He's a troll. He's a troll. He's a troll. Here, you want to know my <laughs> Here's my views. This is it in a nutshell. Okay, you, everyone ready for this? All right, let me see if I can get the, the window. Let me get the window up here, people. Let me get the window up. This is from uh, this is from the old House of Cards. Okay, this is from the old House of Cards. Let me bring it up. 
And we'll see if it actually shows. <clears throat> Hello. Why don't you show up in the stream, please? Every time you're not answering me, it's driving me nuts. Hello, let's go. Come on, man. Okay, there it goes. There's something. Something happened. Something did, in fact, happen. Wasn't the right thing. Uh, what? What was that? Okay, maybe maybe this one will do it. All right, let, let's let's try this one. No, no, it's just it just says you know what? It just it just says no, you know we're just we're just not going to exist today. So there's this great scene from the episode of House of Cards that uh, Melissa and I watched yesterday. Oh wait, wait, maybe. Maybe. No. No. I don't think it's gonna work, guys. I'm getting frustrated with it. Anyways, I'll I'll le I'll uh, share it with you later this week. All right. A uh, couple more questions, and then I'm I'm out for the day. <clears throat> uh, oh, thank you, man. Appreciate your thoughts. Hey. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, persevering with the channel. <laughs> Jeez, man. Kanye Song's violins cover. Mm, now, that could be something interesting. I think so. Don't make rant videos, but rant on live stream. It's funny. That's probably a better way to do it, right? Because then I can kind of get on the other side and realize, man, I sound like an idiot. Um, have I seen Fire in the Blood? No, I haven't. I haven't heard about that. Um, I'm sorry, j just knew if, uh, d don't, don't, don't mind, don't mind the, you, you, I know you weren't being racist. Wait, you weren't being racist. He wasn't being racist. What are you talking about? Uh, the red dot light in the background is scary. What is that? Oh, it's the mosquito thing. <laughs> I, I could be pretty useful. I love my, thank you for liking my walking accents. I could do some reactions in walking. You're right. I was thinking. I was actually thinking about kind of doing some. Some. All right. I think that's going to be it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry for that really rough beginning. Thank you for persevering, everyone who stuck this long into the stream. Uh, we will. <laughs> We will be back tomorrow. I will do some tests to make sure that this isn't going to happen again or to lessen the likelihood that the problems will persist. So check back tomorrow. Please do share the video if you are a YouTuber or if you have some YouTube friends uh, who could benefit from dealing with constructive criticism in their comments. Do share that. I'll put links to my friend Josh's video in the description once this video goes live thanks to everyone eminem cover yes i do want to do an eminem cover never i i do i actually don't want to do this uh that one that you mentioned though the space one um i've got a few eminem's favorites so i'll think about it i'll work on it tomorrow at five i will be back and it's going to be the focus tomorrow i'm going to read for you Live on the stream, my new story, Samus of the Marabar Caves, uh, which is a weird cross-genre mixing short story of Ian Forster's Passage to India with Super Metroid, which is one of my favorite video games. Um, it's about me and Satya. Uh, it's an alternate universe version of me and Satya. All right, VNTZZ, thank you for sticking with me through the whole stream, even though you're so confused by why the crazy American is over here. Um, you don't have to, nearby. You don't have to. <laughs> I do hope to renew my visa, yeah. 
All right, guy, bye everyone. Thank you so much. So much. Oh, today's guest was going to be Josh, but it's 4 a.m. over there for him, and he had a very late night, so he wasn't able to join us today. So Josh Crude, the guy behind us, Asteria. All right, Kabilan, sorry you missed it. Missed it. Tune in tomorrow. I'm about to. I'm about to end this thing. In five, four, three, two, one. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>